name's Samuel Shem, and with my wife, Janet Surrey, we wrote the off-Broadway hit play, Bill W. and Dr. Bob, which is about the two men, the relationship that led to the founding of Alcoholics Anonymous in, uh, in Akron, Ohio, in 1935. The play is uh, distributed by Samuel French, and I'm here to give you some information on why we think you should do it in your, uh, in your season. The uh, play just finished its, its record-breaking off-Broadway run. Uh, it ran for almost a year, 251 performances. It's the longest run, it, when it closed, it was the longest running show uh, in anyone's memory for decades and decades of a drama off-Broadway. And uh, now we are hoping that it'll go all over the country, all over the world. In fact, it's been produced in 40 states from, uh, and from uh, Sydney, Australia to Scotland and from Miami to uh, Saskatchewan. So it's, it's out there. We've been working on it for a long time and this has been the culmination. The, uh, the main reason that we uh, think this uh, should be produced in your theater is it's a great play. Uh, it uh, tells a remarkable true American success story of two guys Bill Wilson and Dr. Bob Smith, who were going to die of alcoholism, they were drunks, and they met each other, and because of one uh, six-hour meeting, they found a way to stay alive and help other people in a program that uh, has helped millions and millions all over the world. So the first reason, I think, to do it is it's all the reviews, all, you know, hundreds and hundreds of reviews now from all over the country, just say it's a marvelous play. Why is it a marvelous play? It's a marvelous play because, first of all, it's a great story. Second of all, it rides on humor. People are laughing their heads off in this play. And then finally, because it, makes, it does what good plays do, it makes a deep emotional connection with people. In fact, it starts with a guy standing up on one side of the stage saying, my name's Bill W. and I'm an alcoholic, at which point if there are people in the audience in AA, they shout out, hi, Bill, like at a meeting. And then he says, at a time like this, I wish my partner could be here. And then the other side of the stage, a guy named Dr. Bob, alcoholic, good to be here, sober. So they started off as if they're, they're talking to the audience. And uh, the, uh, the thing that really makes it special, however, has nothing to do with alcoholism or with AA. It, 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 what's special about this play, it's a universal story of human suffering. It's about any suffering. These guys happen to be drunks, but in fact, uh, it, this applies to any suffering. And the, the main thing that these guys discovered, and that's true in life, I, Janet and I think, is that if you try to walk through suffering alone, you're going to spread more suffering around and you're going to have more suffering. And if you ask for help from somebody else, you're going to walk through the suffering and not spread so much of it around. What they learned, and as a doctor, I've learned this with my patients as well, is the danger of isolation and the healing power of good connection. So there are several brief reasons why you should do this play. Uh, the first is that it is this kind of remarkable human story that touches everybody, it rides on humor, it shows an absolutely miraculous success story of two guys who are going to die and found a way by connecting with each other to live. It just is, is incredibly moving. The other reasons are it, uh, it gets people out of their, uh, out of their houses. This is, this is a live theater event that, uh, that involves the audience from the very first line when a guy stands up and says, my name's Bill W. and I'm an alcoholic. And if there are any members of AA in the audience, they'll shout out, hi, Bill, and everybody's engaged. The second, another thing is that uh, you will bring in a whole different new additional audience to what you usually have because in addition to your usual audience, you're going to get members of the 12-step community uh, from miles around who will come to this. The word gets spreads like wildfire and 2015 is the 80th anniversary of the founding of AA, which this play celebrates. So those are the, you, you get a, a, it's a, it's a theater for the people, for all the people. The other thing is it's very cheap to put on. It's six actors, almost no set, rudimentary set. It's all done with lights and sound and the magic of theater. 
in that way. Very, very inexpensive to put on. And finally, you will, you will get more and more public and private community involvement and funding. Treatment centers, hospitals, uh, uh, all kinds of social welfare organizations throughout your community will in fact uh, help with the marketing, advertising, publicity, etc. But also there, we have found there is always enhancement money to add to your budget that will fund the production. So for all these reasons and the main fact that this is, a, this is for anyone who works on this play, it's a labor of love. People, the actors, directors, this somehow hits people right where they live. It hits them in the heart. And uh, that's the main reason to, we, we would love you to do this show. Uh, the other thing is there is a DVD of the show that was made by uh, Hazelden of a previous off-Broadway production uh, and that was filmed by Northern Light Productions that uh, uh, is a good introduction if you're interested in actually what it looks like on stage. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.